Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another casted game for Age of Empires 4 and today we've got a special match the English versus the Holy Roman Empire we've got Give You Anxiety playing in green as the English going up against Divine in blue as the Holy Roman Empire the map is Hill and Dale and the reason why I wanted to take a look at this map and this particular matchup is because recently the Holy Roman Empire has been doing fantastic and it just feels like the English really struggle against the Holy Roman Empire especially because the English tend to do decently well in the Feudal Age and the late Hyper Imperial Age game. But the Holy Roman Empire seem to have a, a little boost at every stage of the game. There are no slouches in the Feudal Age. They can get a super fast Castle Age time, which is so difficult to deny. And the English, incredibly difficult to... They have a tough job of denying any sort of fast castle from the Holy Roman Empire because of the fact that even if you get longbows out, they're so slow to make their way across the map. By the time they get there, your opponent's in Castle Age and then it's just all hell breaks loose. So I'm really interested to see how Give You Anxiety actually plays this one out against Divine. What he decides to do, how he decides to uh, kind of tackle this problem in a way that the English have. There's that one scout for Give You Anxiety, just opting for the one for now. Divine going for two. A bit surprised to see it giving anxiety only going for one. Of course, the English don't necessarily rely on the sheep too much, but it can certainly help and it can deny your opponents getting sheep. But as Hillendale spawns go, it's relatively open on the front. That could become an issue. And one thing that has to be brought into consideration, though, is it's not just about the civilization matchup, it's also about the resource distribution and map generation. Because unfortunately for Divine, his gold positions are not ideal with two of them being on the front granted though his main gold pile 8000 gold is nice and secure so i think this overall is actually a decent spawn because securing this gold vein that will tide you over way into the castle age and that's when things to get get spicy and i think if you're being pinned here in your castle age you're kind of struggling as it is anyway so that shouldn't be the case there is that council hall five villages going forward as well I think it's going to be a short by rush. A very well, relatively delayed short by rush. Or is it going to wall up? I'm not entirely sure. I think he might be looking to get some outposts on the relics, maybe. He's doing, he's doing something. He's active. It's very specifically five villages, so I, I think it's going to be a short by rush. A relatively late one. But he's going to have a good follow-up of longbows behind. And I think the fact that he's got five villages in particular means that that is what gives it away that he's going forward. That is indeed the case. He's going forward. And Divine's going to be in for a rude awakening here. He's going to notice eventually. Will he lose a village or two? Divine has plenty of gold to get up to the next stage, of course. He's already on the way with the Arkham Chapel. Uh, anxiety, what are you doing? You're running straight towards the TC. What was that? No, he loses a villager already. That is a... Oof, that's a bad start because he can't two-shot... He can't two-shot the villagers anymore. That's one villager for free. We'll get the outpost up in a very strong position, though. We talked about it before, the two gold veins being denied. So that's pretty big for Gimby Uzati. That will delay things, but look, the gold vein is here. And an outpost there for Divine. You can just mine that gold, and there's 8,000 gold there to be had. It's not really a problem. But uh, Gimby Uzati will be following this up with longbows, I suspect, and piling on the pressure. So this is what has to be done against the Holy Roman Empire. You do have to put a lot of pressure on. As much as you can muster to try and delay things. Yeah, I'm giving you anxiety, just pushing the deer away from the Arkham Chapel influence. That's going to be a bit annoying. But understandable. It's understandable. He's bearing the brunt of TC fire, though. There's giving you anxiety. Gets to the Imperial, the, uh, the Imperial Age, the Feudal Age quicker, though. That's actually rather surprising. You usually expect the uh, Holy Roman to go there quicker. He's only using three villages to build, but that's such a decent amount. I suspect behind this. Yep, we can see the longbow starting to stream out here. Struggling for the wood. We'll be getting there, slowly but surely. Oh, here comes the villager pool. I think Divine's going to try and take down the outpost before the longbows come in. Villagers have gone further. Where are the villagers gone? They've gone further around. Looks like Divine was looking to get some stone. I'm not sure why. Going to get an outpost on the Arkham Chapel. Now, this is huge because the Arkham Chapel, a lot of the economy is being denied here. The sheep, the berries, the deer. Not sheep, but the deer, rather. So that's a really strong position, but 
Divine looking to try and siege down this outpost probably will go down. But with giving anxiety in the next stage, will he start to commit villages onto stone? Actually, I understand I understand now why he was going on stone there, Divine. He wanted to get some uh, harrow slits and placements for his outpost. The outpost does go down there for giving anxiety. We'll be losing the longbow. Villagers do have the outpost. Garrison and signed. Longbow numbers starting to build up, two in total. Problem is for Divine, doesn't have the production building just yet. Trying to get a stable up. Getting a secondary outpost, that's a little bit of an investment there, isn't it? Holy smokes. He does not want to lose that gold vein. But I suspect giving Zati might transition to get a barracks. Yeah, he is indeed. Maybe looking to get some man at arms himself. He doesn't have any villages on gold just yet, so that could be an issue. Maybe some spearmen instead. It's actually going to be spearmen because he sees the stable, so it makes natural sense to go for some barracks and spearmen. Give you anxiety playing this one great so far. High progressive. It's what's needed against the Holy Roman Empire these days, that's for sure. Scout trying to go down the left side. Won't be able to get too much value. He'll notice the outpost now. I wouldn't be surprised to see the villagers once Aristotle comes in to be going around the left side and deny that gold again. But this is a bit of a precarious position because whilst giving anxiety has delayed things, well, I mean, Divine's still going to get to the castle age at probably a decent time, I suspect, unless something intense happens. Something intense, maybe uh, a death ball of longbows. Possibly. Looks like God giving anxiety has actually stopped producing longbows. Can't really afford to maintain production of longbows and spearmen. He's going to opt to keep up the spearmen production just for now. One key issue is for Divine, he's running out of food. You no, know, he missed out on the deer, he's missed out on the berries. There's a lot of idling and a lot of denying of resources here. It looks like Divine's going to head towards the right side on the berries. Does have three horsemen, two scouts, a couple of villagers. And I think this is now the time that Giving Anxiety balances. He knows that there are berries there. So we can see immediately Divine looking to try and get an outpost up. The longbow is going to fire off on the villagers. The villagers get pulled back for Divine. This is a problem. Divine can't really engage. Not enough horsemen there. The two spearmen are going to do great work. And Divine is struggling for food. This is a fantastic play for Giving Anxiety. Or oh, might rush into the town centre. Oh no, he's going to pick off some... HP on the horseman. There are no villagers garrisoned inside the town centre yet. So we need to head back. He won't want to lose them for free. He loses one. Oh, loses HP there quite badly. He continues to produce those spearmen. And that's exactly what he needs to do. Because there are stables. There's a stable there. Nothing else. Production ability wise. So giving anxiety doesn't even need to go too crazy on the longbows. It's still, it's still producing them. Streaming them in. Refreshing that lumber camp. Making things efficient at home. And there's the Aristlet's upgrade. And it's not going to be able to farm or take sheep safely there on that side. And there's the archery range for Giving Anxiety. Sorry, for Divine. So it looks like Giving Anxiety will be good to uh, be good to, for him to get some more longbows out. And uh, Divine under so much pressure here. The Arkham Chapel denied. Spearman heading on the right side. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Giving Anxiety sees the archery range. Will he be bringing longbows on this side? I'm not so sure. Where are those longbows? Yeah, they're coming around the right side. That is the focus of attack here. Look at this. Giving Zad is actually taking the deer as well himself. Pretty nice play. Garrison inside the outpost. Not sure why. I think if you're divine, he might need to take his army or horsemen forward. Try and get some damage if he can. I'm not doing much for him back at home. They're actually garrisoned inside the outpost for now. Villagers do come back out. High progression, working quite nicely for giving anxiety. Wow, triple arch range. So double arch range, that's a house. The double arch range for Divine means he's going to try and push us back. That's not a bad play, actually, going full archers now for Divine. We'll actually counter spearmen archers. Or spearmen longbows in this case. I wonder if giving anxiety is going to start getting some rams out. Does he have a blacksmith? Not just yet. Has a decent farm transition. Still does have deer of his own to take. Yeah, yeah. He's keeping on the pressure. Look at this. I think Divine is inspiring the villagers with the prelate and using the market to buy the food he needs. Let's give you Divine just literally just has no one on food. That is a big problem. He needs a big army, he needs a big fight. Getting blacksmith maybe needs to get steeled arrow. You get the feeling that Divine is, is waiting for a big fight here. And when he can take a big fight, he can push all this back. And that's what he's going to need to do. 
starting to build up on the archer numbers. Thing is that giving anxiety is continuing to build those spears. That's less than ideal. Ten minutes on the clock. What's been happening so far? Let's just see. It looks like the longbows are still streaming forward. Yeah, giving anxiety is going full longbow spam now at this point. Doesn't yet have blacksmith. Neither does Divine. Slowly moving to a farm in transition, just the one farm. Divine literally has one person on food. I'm surprised not to see Divine move out on the right side. There's no food as well. This is a key issue on this map spawn. There's actually no, sp no food here. Sometimes you have a berry patch or two, but nothing on this side. Key deny denying of resources here by giving anxiety. Not much else to talk about apart from this army that's actually charging forward almost. It's going to secure this position, so now Divine finally has access to food again. Drops off 61 wood. And I think giving anxiety backs off here. What could be significant is if giving anxiety could put an outpost on that wood line, that would be huge. If it can deny the wood now, though it does have a wood line here it can go to, but again, any key denying of resources is, is key. It does take a villager there. Nicely done, and now the longbow is going to harass the wood line. Almost picks off another. Doesn't quite manage it. Would do well to take out the prelate if you can. And uh, look what he's doing. Just keep an eye on this. Giving anxiety has got a scout on the front line, gives that vision. That's actually really significant. Longbow still coming forward. There's that blacksmith getting steel arrow and then iron undermesh. Surprised not to see rams on the field yet. We do know Giving Anxiety loves a good ram rush. And now the horseman trying to pressurize the outpost. This is actually a signal for Giving Anxiety to engage. The outpost will go down. That's a bit of a shame that he's lost that position. Might even lose the barracks. And now I think Giving Anxiety has to back off. He's got too many spearmen for what he needs. The archers, if they can just micro down the spearmen, that would be good work for. Divine Village is being pulled back, but the mobility is certainly on the horseman's side. The horsemen get engaged. Will the archers start to fight? Yeah, they do. They turn and fight. I think Giving Anxiety was waiting for the upgrades. He actually got Steel Darrow now, so it's a much better place to take the fight. The archers for Divine not engaging. They want to take the spears. And now it's a big full-on scale warfare. The spear bracing, trying to get some hits against the knight, the uh, the horseman rather. The spearmen are being micro down, and this is a problem for Giving Anxiety, that's for sure. Divine pushing this back very nicely. Spearmen going down from the archers and the longbows aren't able to tank. Too much more damage. The shortbow is getting involved as well. The horsemen are going to sweep this up. That's a huge problem. As we saw, a good strategy move here by Divine. Going for full archers versus the archer spearman composition. I say full archers, he did have horsemen as well, but going full archers would have been enough. Longbows getting good, some, some good damage. Divine not able to clear this up entirely and the villagers are idle they're going to be heading back home I suspect but actually no he's going to push forward it should be good to get an outpost here because then obviously the English would have the network of castles bonus that's actually something that Giving Anxiety was missing out there quite a lot now has the iron under mesh maybe feels a bit more optimistic about taking fights there is the blacksmith going down for Divine he needed that a lot earlier I guess but he's getting it better late than never now has access to the deer and the food he needs as I say that though the pressure is going to be building up again Giving anxiety pressuring again. 14 minutes on the clock. Trying to take a decisive fight. Picks off an archer. The nice pick there for giving anxiety. Yeah, the outpost is going up again. Divine forced to, to head back. Doesn't have the upgrades he wants. He's going to actually try and deny this though. This could be the big fight. This could be the big fight that we we're waiting for. Longbows. Going to get some good hits on the horsemen. A couple of scouts involved as well. Villagers get pulled back. At this point, you get the feeling the archers won't be able to do as much damage as they've won. The horsemen are going to get the villagers. And Divine doesn't have Iron and Mesh. That could be the big difference here. The longbows do get some decent shots at the horsemen. Not enough to one-shot them, though. Now with the horsemen taken care of, the longbows can focus on the archers. As, as I said, that another horseman does pop out. There is a spearman. Oh, the Spearman gets a hit on the Horseman, I think. Possibly. He might have died before then. But again, Longbows doing a decent job. They haven't been able to get the Outpost up. Still not benefited from that Network of Castles bonus. 
Bit of a shame there for giving anxiety. He's committing to some more spears. If this outpost goes up, that will be another staging ground for giving anxiety to fight with. Picks off an archer there. Good micro. Let's take a look at what's happening back home. Macroing nicely. Farm transition. Very, very solid. But Iron Under Mesh is starting to come in for Divine. Takes the fight before it comes in, though. Does lose a horseman. Wait, what? Steel Darrow wasn't didn't come in for giving anxiety. I think he took Iron Under Mesh first, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he cancelled that. I had a feeling like I thought that giving anxiety I had Steel Darrow. He didn't. Go for a second archery range. Doubling down now. Now that he has the outpost, that's actually a very strong position. His army, this army will be buffed. As you can see, a network of castles makes a 20% increase to the attack speed. Give you Zarkati might do well to get siege engineering some rams in behind this archer push. Longbow's gonna head towards the northern woodline, just try and deny an economy as he can. Problem for giving anxiety is that gold vein is being used and he's using the market so much that gold vein is gonna be completely expired, and once that once that does happen, that's gonna be a problem. Heavy feudal age, age aggression, village doesn't go down, probably will be held up by the prelate. Yep, CG Engineering is queued up for giving anxiety. He is looking to ram the stuff down, picking up food on the deer carcasses there on the front lines. Look good here for giving anxiety. Everything on food would villagers do get pushed back, doesn't manage to get an outpost there in time. Villagers do get sniped, I'm afraid. Let's back towards the outpost. Again, the woodline is a bit problematic. I think Divine has to, yeah, he's moved to the back woodline. It does have further back woodline outside the main base safe if he needs to take it. But he's struggling right now. He's certainly struggling. The longbow though is starting to build up in numbers. It could take an effective fight. There are a decent number of horsemen, but with the attack speed buff the network of castles, that could be useful. Not enough to have one shot of horsemen though. It does have spearmen there. The archers for Divine trying to focus fire on the spearmen. And longbows are actually focusing on the archers. If the archers can be taken out, that would become a problem. And Divine losing a lot here, losing the horsemen. A couple of spears, still getting some shots off. The spearmen almost gone. This is a problem for giving anxiety. Whilst it does fire faster, the horsemen are on the tails. And I think giving anxiety is focusing on the archers here. And it makes sense to. Yeah, the horsemen back off. And now on the retreat, though, giving anxiety gets good value because of the long range of the longbowmen. Yeah, that was a great fight for giving anxiety overall. He's really starting to build up on the numbers. Divine, I think he's just taking some optimal trades on the market. And there it is. There's a GG. Give you anxiety gave Divine anxiety in this matchup against the Holy Roman Empire. The English actually triumph over the Holy Roman Empire on Hill and Dale. It's not something you see every day, but giving anxiety making it work. And this is a great video actually to showcase how it can be done. Giving anxiety giving us pointers. And maybe we can try and implement some of these things that we've learned today and give the Holy Roman Empire some anxiety on the ladder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, do give it a thumbs up. Take care, and see you next time.